right but what is going on guys back with another video and man it feels weird being in front of a camera again how long has it been i mean for y'all it's only been like a couple of weeks since i put out a video but before that it was like months before i even put out like a, a actual video too and man it's been since we're in september now second day of september and the last video I recorded was, wow, I don't even, like the last video I recorded that I was supposed to put up was in July. That video it didn't go up yet for certain reasons that I'm still working on. But I think before that, the video that I, oh man, was it the Texas 2K video? And that was in like March-ish? Yeah, it's been a long time. And there's a couple of reasons for everything like why i haven't been uploading the main reason is just this car i had a couple of issues with the old dirty camaro give you guys a quick rundown before i talk about what's going on so obviously like behind the scenes i take care of my car modify it do this do that to it and that's how i'm making videos well there's a certain modification i put on my car either i put it on wrong or whatnot but it caused a slew of problems. It was mainly just wiring issues that happened after I installed this part. And there's a train coming. But but like I was, I think it's Is that really necessary, my guy? Really? Anyway. Alrighty, so back in, I think either like late January, February, uh, like I would say February-ish, I installed laundry betters. You see, you see the laundry betters? Yeah. See the laundry betters? Uh, but these are laundry betters. Installed those, everything went flawless. I installed it in like a day. That video's gonna come out soon, eventually. Just gotta make sure everything with EPA is okay. I mean, I still got my cats. Still got my cats, so EPA, you can't say nothing. So I installed the long tube headers back in like February-ish. And for, I would say about, it was about a week that went by. I went to work multiple times, came back, you know, drove the, drove the car hard. You know, it sounded amazing, sounded great. I'm gonna upload that video for you guys to see. But out of nowhere, I was driving, I was doing a pull. Like, I really wasn't even going that fast. Like, I started from first gear, went to second gear, and the car just died. And once it died, I'm like, oh, damn. I literally just blew my motor before I was even able to put the tune on this car and do this and do that. So that's how it happened. I will, I had left my mom's house to get some food. I was chilling, had the tune in my car. I was waiting for the gas in my car to go down. I had like maybe a quarter of a tank left of 87. I had a tune for 93 from Trifecta. So I'm waiting, you know, letting the gas go down and whatnot. I think I was at like 50 miles till E. Yeah, I think I was at 50 miles till E when it all happened. So sitting in the Raising Cane's line, I was sitting there for like a good 20, 30 minutes, just like having the car idle, you know, got obviously got the temp, it got hot. But, you know, like normal other day, I didn't pay no mind to it. None, none out of the ordinary. So, got my food, got on the uh, service road to where I was, started driving back to my mom's house. Uh, I don't think I was on my way to the gas station to put on a tune just yet, because I think I was still letting the gas run out. But as soon as I shifted in the second, everything just cut. Like, well... The power was still on, but the motor just died. And the check engine light was literally just flashing, like, rapidly, like, you know how it would when you blow a motor or whatnot. Uh, I didn't know what was going on, so I coasted literally, I think I was doing, like, 50 miles an hour at the time. So I literally just coasted to, like, the nearest, like, spot that I could. It was really sketchy, too, by the way. That was kind of weird. But, um, coasted there started looking around at the car i'm like man did i really just blow my motor because i was convinced i blew my motor uh searched for any windows in the block no windows had oil oil looked great uh towed it back to my uh towed it back to my house and i'm like damn 
what is going on with this car and this happened literally right before 2k the video right before 2k i had i got my car that i think it was either two days beforehand and i took it straight to houston that was not a smart idea by the way uh something else could have happened but uh brought the car to carmax because i'm like hey i don't know what happened to my car like i was literally like i was literally driving it and it shut off can y'all figure out what's going on with it like is it covered under warranty if it's not all right if it if i gotta pay for it okay that's cool I just want to know what's going on with my car because it's my baby. Make content, make money with it. Went through that whole process. Car CarMax today or Car CarMax to get a couple updates. They were like, at first they were like, yeah, it should be covered covered in warranty because it looks like just something went out on it, whatnot. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll take care of it. All right, all right, we all take care of it. Let me know what's going on. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for the hard work and whatnot. You know, just being real nice, being real generous. Uh, you know, just the normal person I am. And uh i get a call like I, one day i was at work and i get a call and i'm like oh hey i gotta answer this about my car all right cool all right all right so started talking to the guy i forgot, I forgot what his name was it doesn't really matter don't even care um and he called me he had like a really nasty attitude and i'm like uh did you figure out what was wrong with my car or he was like I mean, long story short, he was, like, assuming that, like, I tuned the car and I caused that to happen. And I'm like, whoa, 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 buddy, whoa, buddy, whoa. The car's not tuned yet. And so we were going back and forth. Like, I was still being, like, real nice. I was like, confused. I'm like, why does he think the car is tuned if the car hasn't been tuned yet? Like, if something's going on with the car, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest about it. Like, I'm like, yeah, if I tune the car, I'm going to say I tuned the car. If I didn't, then I didn't. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with the car. So they sent it to uh, Chevy. And Chevy, this is the part that made me mad. Chevy pretended like they figured out what was wrong with my car. They were like, oh, it was just rodent damage. And I'm like, rodent damage? I don't look. But I was like, you know what? It happens. It's cold right now. My car is warm. That sounds about right because how, how everything happened, it was electrical. All right, cool. So they fixed my car. I paid, I think, almost five hundred dollars. Uh, they rewired the car, put a new fuse, and the car was fixed. They reprogrammed the computer, and everything was good. Everything was good. I have the paperwork. I still have the paperwork to show everything, like all everything that they did. So that same day, I went to go pick up my car. I took it out, drove on the service road, drove back to my neighborhood, and I said, "Man." It's been about a week and a half since I had my car. Let's let's give it a little little go. Like a little pull. I literally got the car up to five thousand RPMs. Like I was even it wasn't even full throttle. Got the car up to five thousand RPMs and it just started sputtering, misfiring, and I'm like, what is going on with my car? Like, what the freak is going on? And I'm like, this ain't right. Like, if I pay five hundred dollars, I expect my car to be running right if they say they fixed the problem. So I was like, you know what? It's probably just a. They said the ECU was wiped, so they ha it probably has to relearn, like with the Chevy things, like the car has to relearn, and whatnot. And I'm like, all right, maybe that's it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just keep driving it. I make it 27. I think it was yeah, it was 26 miles down the road. Same thing happened. I was, I, but this time I was literally just driving. I was literally. Drive, just driving normal and car shut off the flat the check engine light started flashing and again i'm like there is no way so i'm like you know what maybe in good faith they said they fixed my car they said they found the issue they said they fixed the issue maybe they'll take it back do some fix it again and take care of it because they said they fixed it the first time no that was not the case Chevy treated me so bad after this whole ordeal or during this whole ordeal. I'm like, what the freak is going like? I am a customer, bro. Like, I'm trying to figure out what was wrong with my car. And you're over here treating me like I am a criminal who's trying to steal from you guys. Like, if I broke my car, I'm going to let you know I broke my car. Like, I like fixing my own car. I'm not going to bring my car to just anybody. Like, I brought it to you guys because I drove, I was driving my car and I didn't know what the freak happened to it. The service advisor was really nasty to me, like whatnot, and just wasn't being helpful. And I'm like, what the freak did I do to y'all mechanics or service advisors, bro? Like CarMax and shit. I'm like, bro, there's no way 
that I'm going through this right now. So he took the car back. They looked at it. They were like, oh, looks like your long tube headers burned a wire or burned. Uh, I think it was the it was the positive wire coming from the battery. They said it looked like it burned that wire. And I'm like, OK, well, how much is that to cost? Or how, how much is it going to cost to fix? They were like, uh, everything said and done. I think it was like seventeen hundred. And I'm like. 1700 for a problem y'all said you already fixed what i bro i was like there is no way in hell i'm gonna pay 1700 dollars for y'all to fix my car again after y'all said y'all fixed it the first time at that point like i it wasn't the fact that i didn't want to pay the money is i didn't trust them to touch my car after that again because after the way they handled the whole situation and making me think that they fixed the car the first time and i drive my car and i dang near get stranded luckily i have roadside assistance that can help me no matter what I'm like, bro, y'all are not touching my car. Mm, I'm going to get it on a tow truck and I'm going to take it somewhere else where I actually trust them to fix my car. This is this is the thing that made me even more mad. So after that happened, the first time when the car died and killed itself, the service advisor was like, yeah, the ECU may be blown. It's not communicating anymore. The car won't start up anymore. This is what's his exact words. The car will not start up anymore because the ECU is not communicating anymore. So I'm like, dang, I probably blew the ECU. Okay, shoot. I said, all right, cool, whatever. I'm going to get it on a tow truck and I'm taking somewhere else. Because at this point, I was still mad about the whole situation. And I'm like, at this point, you're telling me now that my car won't start up and run. So I'm like, you know what? A lot of words, Chevy. But I, I, don't know, I just hung up the phone. I said, all right, thank you. Hung up the phone and just let that be that. So tow truck gets there. And I'm looking around, I'm like, like I went to go get my car. Like I like I, I got to the Chevy dealership, went to go pick up my car just to, so they could release it to me and they could put it on a tow truck. Cause I'm assuming they're gonna have to be pushing the sucker out or something like that. And I'm like, they're like, oh no, the tow truck driver already came and got your car. And I'm like, I already came and got my car. Like what, he didn't even call me or nothing like that. So I pull around, the car's running a tow truck. And I like, no, the tow truck driver, he stops, he sees me, he sees me in my Mustang. He's like, oh yeah, I got your car. I said, Oh, did they push you onto the tow truck or did you like blah, blah, blah? He's like, no, I drove it up here. I, I said, you did what? He said, no, I drove it up here. Yeah, they, it was already running and they just said, drive it up on the truck. And I said, I said, oh, okay. Good to know. So that, remember, he said, my car, he drove it up on the truck. But the service advisor said, my car was not going to start anymore. Like it needed a new ECU, it needed this, it needed that. It was done for. Pretty much, that was the words. It was not going to start anymore. So... When a tow truck driver told me he drove it up on the truck, I'm like, you did what? And he's like, yeah, I drove it on the truck. I said, all right, thank you. So we get to where I bought the car at. Like, uh, I brought it to a family mechanic, loved this dude, took care of my car, and he fixed my car properly. He actually fixed it. Uh, so we get, we got there, and I'm like, okay, maybe it's a fluke that it started up the first time. This mother freaker starts my car up again rolls it off the truck drives it into the uh bay and i'm like oh no nah, they were they were trying to sucker me bro turns out that chevy was literally trying to pull another one over on me and get me to spend more money and this is what my mechanic told me because like they oh man but that whole situation they tried to chart uh, i'm gonna just leave that situation as that uh but that was one instance instance that uh kind of like stopped me from uploading videos and whatnot like i have i recorded all this like i recorded the video i made like while my car was having issues i'm probably gonna throw this in there just so you guys can understand what i was going through oh i was very frustrated so I, i'm gonna cut out a lot of stuff about it but a couple months go by car is fixed car is working perfectly fine like it's driving i took it to the drag strip a couple of times so i installed this little fog light housing thing just so the air filter can breathe it was a normal, normal install. Normal install. Didn't think nothing of it. That air filter, it can take water. Uh, it won't suck up water. Like, it's waterproof and whatnot. I had to make sure before I did it, I'm not going to be stupid and open up my air filter uh, to, obviously, all the elements. But, you know, it's waterproof and whatnot. It's, it can handle that stuff. It won't suck up water. I've driven this car after this instance. I've driven this car multiple times through water. Not through water, like, puddles or whatnot, because I ain't retarded, but, like... Like driving in the rain and whatnot is totally fine. Uh, I think a couple of days after I did that modification so the air filter can breathe more, it was raining. And coming home from work, and out of nowhere, I hear this like electronic sound. It goes, Ying! but earlier that day, I heard it while I was on my lunch break, and I'm like, eh, that's probably nothing. So 
I hear it again, and I'm like, what the freak is going on? At this time, it was nighttime, so the headlights started dimming too, and I'm like, what the freak is going on? And at this point in time, I was in my mo mother's neighborhood, so I'm like, uh, let me hurry up and get this car back to my mom's house just in case something's happening. So as soon as I realized what was going on, I was like, shoot, let me hear up. Let me just drive to the neighborhood. Let me get back. Same thing with the ECU happened again. And I'm like, bro, there is no way. So what that issue is, turns out the headers grounded out a wire on the starter, seized the flywheel or seized the, starter, seized the old starter to the flywheel and caused that whole issue and caused the ECU to blow a fuse again. And I'm like, bro, what is going on with these headers? Like, there is no way that I ordered these BB BBK headers for $900 and they're costing me damn near $2,000 in repairs after I installed them myself. So, like, I'm real OCD, real particular about everything. So, I know for sure how I installed them. I know, like, they had clearance and whatnot. So, I'm like, bro, there is no way. Like, don't get me wrong, over time, like, it's going to vibrate. Like, this car vibrates a lot after... Um, after everything I've done to it. So I'm like, man, they, it just had to just vibrate. So I'm like, there is no way these BBK headers are costing me so much money in repairs. So that was, I think that was like late May-ish, I believe. Early, no, it was early May, I believe. I don't, man, it's been a long time. This car has put me through some trauma just a little bit. That's kind of the whole long -ish story. Like I kind of try to just jump through it so this video is not too long. And sorry if it didn't really make too much sense. It's just long story short, I got messed over by chevy in the long run paid the money that they really didn't deserve like don't get me wrong i don't mind paying a mechanic for his labor and figuring out what was going on but don't pretend like you fixed my car and you don't actually fix my car and pass it off to me like you totally fixed my car my car's running perfectly fine and you're all happy on the end of the phone and you're like oh yeah we fixed your car we found the issue yeah you can come pick it up now all right cool like i said don't mind paying the mechanic because obviously like things aren't free you gotta pay labor or whatnot don't care about that don't act like you fixed my car and then when I confront you about it, you turn into a dick. Simple as that. It's running perfectly fine now. Like, it's running perfectly fine now. Like, this car is running a-okay. Uh, it is now it is tuned by Trifecta. At the time when this whole situation was going on, it was not tuned. I was literally trying to tune it because I thought that was the issue. Uh, but it's running perfectly fine now. Sounds amazing. Like, you guys, I literally just uploaded a video of the long tube headers. I recorded that video months ago, so long ago. Like, I don't even remember how long ago that was. That's how long I recorded the video ago. And these headers have been on this car for almost six months now. So I haven't even made, like, uploaded the video of me, you know, doing the install. And I also that's also because, like, the EPA didn't want to want them showing up. I'm like, hey, you installed long two headers in your car. And I'm like, hey, I got cats, mother freaker. You can't see them. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a quick walk around of what the car looks like now. I've done a couple of modifications, obviously off camera, that I haven't picked up on. I'm still waiting for the coilovers, uh, waiting for the coilover springs to come in from Max Speeding Rods. It's been uh, since July. I got the I got the coilovers in pretty fast initially, and then the whole situation happened with the rear springs being too small in diameter, so I had to reorder those or had them have to send me out more ones because they were sponsored, so they were taking care of all that. Uh, so waiting on those. I have a, actually, I have a new hood coming for this car too. Waiting for that. That's on back order. Uh, they said about five weeks, five to six weeks before it ships out. But the coilovers, coilovers should be here any week now. They said they should come in September. Like that got pushed back also as well. Like they're supposed to be in August, but then they got pushed back to September. I'm like, it's cool, whatever. Just, you know, send them out to me so I can finish the video. That video started, I started making that video in like May-ish, July-ish, or May-ish, June-ish. So that video should be coming out soon. Um... Still waiting for the springs to come. So, so far I've made a couple of drag videos in this car. Uh, I think I, well, I still got the freaking thing up in the window over there for <laughs> the yellow belly drag strip. I think I went like a couple weeks ago. I did record because I lost my GoPro. I was riding my motorcycle one day and I lost my GoPro so I wasn't able to record the drag strip this time. Funny enough, I lost a freaking charger to my good camera now so I'm recording from my iPhone. Ha, <laughs> funny. Um, yeah a rough couple of months I'm not gonna lie it's, it's been a rough couple of months but you know <laughs> at the end of the day i'm laughing because <laughs> i'm like damn i really lost the whole gopro while riding a motorcycle and i didn't even realize that it fell off my helmet because this is right in front of me um 
Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna do an overview of the car, like show you guys everything that's done to it again. So still got stock wheels, still waiting for the coilovers to come in for that. Uh, I know what wheels I'm gonna get. Just waiting to order those. Or maybe I have ordered them already. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you guys. So I did the ZL1 rear diffuser. Turns out I ordered the wrong one. I, I ordered the one that you have to modify and whatnot. So I sold that one and got this one to where it was just a direct replacement. And I got the quad tips on. I got these from freaking Amazon, I believe, for like 100 bucks. Real cheap, welded them up myself. And they look good on the car. The fog light housing. I think I uploaded the video of me doing the splitter. I, it's just I think that's almost it besides the long tube headers. So I did the long tube headers, obviously. These are the BBK, uh, I think it's an inch and seven eighths, I believe. Uh, long tube headers don't really remember don't really care. I just love how they sound and They the car did pick up a lot of power from uh, The long tube headers like it picked up a considerable amount surprisingly I didn't realize it was gonna pick up that much like you can feel it down low um, Oh, yeah, also I got a trifecta tune on the vehicle too. Uh, not too happy with the tune, but I mean it makes the car sound decent I believe like I, I, I Mean the car's running better. That's all I can say, but it's not like a, I feel like it's not like a real, real tune. It's just like unlocks restrictions and that's about it. So I'm going to try to get this car dyno tuned, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do cams to this car. I don't know. I'm on the fence of selling it right now. It's up for sale right now uh, because I trying to get the 2020 Mustang GT. So this car is up for sale right now, but I'm not too sure if I want to sell it though. I kind of want to keep building this thing and just seeing where it goes because right now, I have the, I have a new hood coming from it for it. I got the wheels coming for it soon once I get those on order. Um, because those are finally back in stock. Like I've been trying to order those things for like six months now, and I checked yesterday and they're actually finally back in stock. But um, I'm thinking about either nitrous or some sort of force induction on this vehicle, but I can't decide if I want to do it or save that money and put it towards a brand new Mustang GT. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm at like a crossroads crossroads with this car. Uh, do I want to keep modifying it or do I just want to sell it as is and put that money towards another vehicle? Now, I know you guys love the, the V6 content. Like not many people are uploading videos or consistent with videos. I can't really say I'm consistent anymore with them, but that's kind of where i'm at i'm sorry this video is all over the place i'm kind of just like getting this all out right now before i forget i think yeah i got the hearse short door shifter in here still uh oh yeah i also need a new transmission <laughs> third gear synchro is gone let's just say i was having fun in houston during texas 2k third gear synchro said <laughs> adios and i wasn't being hard on the car i was literally downshifting and that sucker said boom i said why did it just make the noise if i'm just doing a normal routine routine downshift like that i don't i do a million times my it just wasn't happy like that whole ride up to houston it was grinding going into third so i'm like that's weird but i didn't pay no mind to it downshifted in third boom i'm like oh no it still works but for it to actually engage third gear i have to be on the throttle the entire time once i take my foot off the throttle it'll start going grrr, pop 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 and just back out of third gear which is funny as hell i ain't even gonna lie uh i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get it taken care of i'm gonna get it fixed obviously before i sell a car if i sell a car still trying to decide like I, i'm i'm not sure what i want to do because if i do force induction i'm probably gonna go turbos just because simply turbos make you can make a lot of power uh with them there's a lot of variety like you can have a turbo and do so much with it before you have to like upgrade a freaking pulley or whatnot or do all this crap that you got to worry about with tur or superchargers uh the only issue is finding a turbo kit and um what, 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 what else was i was trying to say uh finding a turbo kit and just making everything work with the whole setup i have going on right now because if I were to do it, like I would lose my long tube headers and I don't want to lose my long tube headers. So I was thinking about doing rear mounts. But if I do rear mounts, I got to worry about driving the car in the rain and whatnot. So this is a whole situation I've been going through back and forth. Uh, obviously, I would have to build a motor if I want to go for even like crazy power. Obviously, like you V6 probably can only hold. I think these V6 is going to only hold up to like 500 crank before they explode. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So that's that's where I'm at right now. A lot of things. Uh, so could go nitrous, could go turbo, could go supercharger. I, I don't know, 
one of these days I'm just gonna wake up and just order it and that'll be that really because that's kind of how I just order my parts like I wake up and just like alright I want this today I've been trying to get a 76 millimeter overkill throttle body since July or June and I can't not get one I've emailed the company multiple times they're not responding overkill if you see this video please send me a 76 millimeter throttle body I've been trying to get one they've been out of stock or just unavailable on your website so please for the love of my performance, please, for the love of my sanity, please send me a 76, 76 millimeter throttle body. Please and thank you. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for this vehicle here. It still looks good and dandy. Still extremely loud as well. Like extremely, extremely loud. Like, let me, let me just give you guys a quick start. Once I decide to sell it, then, or if I decide to sell it, then we'll, we'll know where it go. But man, I love how it sounds. Like the ghost cam sounds amazing. Okay. But the ghost cam sounds amazing. So, but yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. Why I haven't been uploading and why I just haven't really been motivated to really do anything. It's just this whole situation took a major toll. And it, it, I know it doesn't sound like major, but at the time I'm just like, bruh, I was contemplating selling the car, doing this, doing that. Like I was pretty much done with this vehicle and I was just gonna start making motorcycle content again like got my motorcycle over there because at the same time the Mustang was having issues as well and I'm like bruh I I that motorcycle was the only reliable vehicle I had for a little <laughs> you heard that that was third gear that was surprising I don't know why I just did that out of that was literally it never done that before but that was third gear I know you guys heard this heard the uh the exhaust in that previous video but man I don't think I had the ghost cam in the video so I'm gonna let it play or let it run a little bit so you guys can can hear that ghost cam because now now that sounds amazing there it goes so the ghost cam makes this car actually a lot louder so yeah when it's off the car is like quiet at idle when it's on man this car is loud as heck but I love it I don't keep the ghost cam on all the time like I'll like have it on here and there but I won't keep it on 24 7 I don't know I just feel like it's not good for the car so I don't always have it on but I have it on like at car meets and whatnot so um but yeah I think that's about it but uh yeah if you guys enjoyed them for the like for favorite and subscribe I'm still saying favorite like we're in like the early 2010s but <laughs> that's how long I've been on YouTube but if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. The videos are coming back slowly but surely. I'm trying to get back on my grind, trying to sort out my school schedule, work schedule, and whatnot. And then, you know, the videos will be back slowly but surely. I just got to figure out a time to, you know, edit my videos around schoolwork and whatnot. But yeah, peace out.